peace. Who doesn't want peace? Peace among the races, peace among tribes in Ethiopia, family peace, peace on the job, personal peace. But how do we get it? Consider this devotion today to be a prescription for joy and peace. You faithfully take your medical prescription day after day so that you become strong and well. I find that I need to think and think again day after day about God's Word to get the full benefit, the healing strength. Today's verses center in on how to have Shalom Peace, which is offered in Isaiah 26. Do you find Isaiah difficult to read? I do, and yet I have found such treasures like these verses. Verses 3 and 4 Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusts in thee. Trust in the Lord forever, for in the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. Isaiah wrote this chapter for Judah as a song of praise. God had blessings coming in the future Messiah's kingdom. I want to emphasize future kingdom from the context of verses 1 and 2 of this chapter. There will be a new city of God filled with great songs of joy. There will be a lasting perfect peace, because only the righteous will enter. However, we can pursue God's peace today. We can have peace with our holy and just God through Jesus and his work on the cross. Isaiah speaks of perfect peace. The original Hebrew says, Shalom, Shalom. I like the way God uses the word twice in order to emphasize the blessing. It wasn't just about world peace or lack of conflict in Judah. The Hebrew term means harmony, wholeness. Think a quiet spirit, a sense of safety, a happiness of the heart that gives your whole being health. You can find a delightful study of the word shalom on YouTube from the Bible Project. Look at the key to having this peace right now, whose mind is stayed on you. We keep our minds stayed, settled, or set. It is the battle for the mind. Think how Jesus told us to love the Lord our God with all our mind. Romans 12, 2 instructs us to have our minds renewed. Colossians 3, 2 tells us to set our minds on the things above, where Christ is seated. It is a battle for your mind. Hebrews 12, verses 1 and 2. Lay aside every encumbrance and the sin that so easily entangles us, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of faith. Set our eyes, our minds, our thoughts on him. From Isaiah to Hebrews, thousands of years in between, and yet this is the same encouragement, the same principle, fixing our minds on Jesus. The word stayed is the Hebrew word samak. Not sure I'm pronouncing that correctly. But it has the idea of standing fast, leaning on, being upheld. So what is your mind taking hold of? What thought habits are established? What sustains your peace of mind? We have habits of thought. We can think, oh, If only people liked me more, if I had a bigger house, a better car, a nicer job. Or we can think, you don't know and understand how hard life is for me. Or we can think, God is in control. God does love me. He is with me. This is a battle. We need to wrestle with those thoughts and create new habits. We need to talk to ourselves and actually say, self. This is the truth. And then God is with us. The Holy Spirit will help us to have that shalom peace. This is our part. 
wrestle with those thoughts. Notice there is a cause and effect. There is perfect peace because he trusts in thee. This is faith, and faith is a great antidote for fear or any lack of peace. Think of Proverbs 3, 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. The word lean comes from the same root as the word stayed in Isaiah 26. As we trust, we are sustained. As we trust, we are upheld. As we trust, we have perfect peace. A good question to ask is who? Who keeps you in perfect peace? God. Who do we trust? God. Why should I trust God? Because he is the Lord Jehovah. He is the one who created us. He is the one who created the whole world. And he has everlasting strength. We can go through a crisis. We can go through daily life with his everlasting strength. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. The NAS Bible uses the word everlasting rock instead of everlasting strength. Did you know some of our favorite old hymns are built on this verse? Hymns like Rock of Ages or Like a River Glorious, Stayed upon Jehovah, hearts are fully blessed, finding as he promised, perfect peace and rest. George Mueller was a Christian evangelist who founded an orphanage in England. Over his lifetime, he cared for over 10,000 orphans. He contributed his long life and his health to three things. Number one, he was at peace with God and man. Number two, he loved the word and the way it restored his whole being, his shalom peace. And he had happiness in God and his work. He was free from needless anxiety. He lived to be 92. So our spiritual prescription for today, fix our minds on him. Trust him and you will experience shalom peace. I hope this is an encouragement to you to pursue your peace with God.